Hey man, it's me, Kevin Smith. Welcome to the Grow Tent, everybody. You have found the best growing channel on YouTube, man. The place where we simplify the approach for you so everyone can learn how to grow. We make it so simple, even I can understand. So I'm going to listen and learn right now. Woo! Welcome back to the Grow Tent, everybody. Jesus, take two, GT. Welcome back to the Grow Tent, everybody. We got a great episode for you today. Today we're going to be talking about triploids. What are they, and what are some of the downsides to them? Uh, I know we've seen some episodes here uh, lately talking, right, talking about triploids and the benefits of them. And today we're going to talk about the downsides of them and why I think you should pay attention to it. Uh, because in other industries, whenever this has come out, it's led to some not really cool things for. Uh, for the uh, for the market that nobody seems to think about right at first. So that's what we're going to talk about today. But first, as always, guys, it's the intro. This hat is like super itchy today for some reason. I don't know. It's a brand new hat. Not brand new. It's it, This is only like the second time I think I've worn it, though. Uh, guys, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, watch the full video. I want to say hi to all the new subscribers. And uh, also a big shout out to all my OGs. So thanks for hanging out. Guys, if you haven't checked out our Patreon, you should probably check it out. Link to it in the video description below. Uh, trust me, you definitely want to join. Trust me, check out the benefits. Um, guys, real quick commercial. Nah, fuck that. We'll put the commercial at the end. Remind me though. Remind me, say, GT, put the commercial at the end. Let's just get right into the episode. Let's go. Woo! Welcome back, everybody. I had to ditch the hat. It was like way too itchy today. Probably because I need to cut my hair. What's left of it? But guys, today we're going to be talking about triploids. I know everybody's. Uh, sucking uh, triploid uh, whatever right now but I'll tell you right now I'm not a fan of it I'm not a fan of it when it's introduced in other industries and I'm not a fan of it now especially uh, the fanfare it's being accepted with uh, but if you're like just a part-time hobby grower I could see if you're having problems with uh, some things with your grow i could see how it could be beneficial to you but today i want to talk about some of the downsides of triploids that you might not have been thinking about in any other industry like let's say when monsanto they do triploids of their watermelons or whatever they don't do watermelons but they they do triploids in their seeds what they're doing is they're making it so you can't grow your plant and then take the seeds from your own plant and make new seeds. You have to literally go back to them for your seeds every year because your seedless watermelon or your seedless bananas or whatever they're doing, they're sterile. They're making their plants sterile so you, the consumer, can't just make your own from them on. Whenever you grow that plant up and then chop it down, there is no bag seed anymore. You can't ever just make your own crosses anymore. Now you have to go back to them and purchase again. And I don't know if anybody's thinking about that, you know, that kind of stuff, but it's something I think about because I think it's important. Whenever I make my crosses and stuff, I put them out into the world. I want people to be able to, if they like them, do whatever they want with them. They're theirs for the taking. Um, but whenever you uh, bring triploids in, it, the plants are sterile. Even if you take a regular duploid, one that only has, uh, uh, you take a regular diploid and then you cross it with a triploid, all the babies are still going to be sterile. Um, so uh, in essence, these people are making it so that you will not be able to cross their plants in the future. And I don't think that's good whenever regular companies do it to farmers, and I don't think it's good here. Um, some of the benefits of triploids are, you can get a little a little bit bigger of a yield. The problem is if your growing techniques suck, you're not getting a bigger yield. And then another downside is they do 100% take longer to grow and to finish. So you're sacrificing your time for yield. So I, I just want people to understand that if it takes longer to grow, you get fewer grows in in a season, you're not actually increasing your yield for that season. You're balancing out, if not losing. And then the other big part is all your plants are sterile and you'll never be able to make your own stuff. And I know for a lot of people, they don't care, but I would just like people to see like in the long run, if we all start doing this, 
you'll never be able to make your own stuff again, okay? You'll always have to go, this is why Monsanto, all the, the seeds that they send out every year, they can't be pollinated. They can't, the, the, you know, the stuff doesn't reproduce. They are, you know, genetically modified. That is exactly what this is. This is, we're genetically modifying plants to not produce any seeds. And in the short term, you're like, oh my God, that's so awesome. No more herms ever. And I think it's, you're giving away a lot of control, a lot of freedom for a problem that you can fix with just a little bit better gardening techniques. And once that cat is out of the bag, it's out forever. Um, this wasn't gonna be a very long video today. I just wanted everybody to kind of think about this. Uh, I will not be buying any triploid seeds. I will never make any triploids. Um, all of my genetics will always be available for you guys to do whatever you want with. Cross whatever you want with. Once I make them, they are out there for everybody to do whatever they want with. And I just want you to realize that when you make these triploids or you buy these triploids, you are ending a successionary line that you now have to go back up to, please, sir, may I have more porridge every single time. You're giving away a lot of your control, a lot of your freedom whenever you're doing this. All right, sorry for the down video. I just, you know, I see a lot of people, they're all excited about this and... If something takes longer to grow, you get more, but it takes longer to get there, that's not getting more. You're, you're still losing in the long run of this. And then if you look even further out, now you can't even make your own stuff anymore. Now you have to go back and buy this every year. Everybody like, oh my God, seedless watermelons, that's so cool. You know, they didn't do that because they wanted you to not have to pick out your seeds anymore. They did that so that you can't make your own watermelons ever because now you have to go back to the store to get more watermelons. Instead, you used to get a watermelon, get seeds, you dry those seeds out, then plant them, you can make your own watermelons. That is going to be a non-existent thing anymore. You know, they don't want you doing that. And uh, I just figured I wanted to make a little video today to talk to you about some of the dangers of triploids and why I don't think they're a good idea. They're a good idea for the company, you know, but they're not a good idea for, if you look where this, this cannabis industry is going, it's way getting away from the big industrialized versions of itself. And it's more f starting to focus on the people that are, that like being in this culture, the, the, the calf, the craft style growers, and this is going to immediately cut that down. And uh, I just wanted to talk with you about it. Hope you guys all have a rest uh, a good rest of your week i'll see you guys next time gt out okay now stay tuned for a commercial from mars hydro at the end <laughs> bye guys later kind of cool stuff guys you're looking for any kind of new light new tent new whatever check out mars hydro this is actually the second way the channel makes money it's not as much as the patreon but it's still uh, a nice little bump uh if you use the code <laughs> GT. Whenever you check out, you will uh, we will get a nice kickback, and you will get a nice discount at checkout for any kind of new lights, new tents, new vans, etc. Mars Hydro pretty much makes anything you could want for your tent. They pretty much make uh, to help you grow. Uh, they've got great products. We've been using them for years. They've been the main chance supporter of the channel since we had only 500 subscribers. They've been a, a supporter of the channel and a sponsor. So thanks again, uh, Mars Hydro. Please remember to use the link in the video description below. Use our code, get a discount. We get kickback. Much appreciated. All right, that's enough. Okay. So